Today I'm going to be demoing my um, this VST host that I designed in the Max MSP. I initially intended this as something which loads up within another audio remixer which I've designed, which is also up on the page. Um, but as a standalone, also it's got a lot of really cool functionality that it, and things that it can do. So I decided to also like put it up as a standalone. The difference being that in this one there is this excuse for a sample player <laughs> that's on and off and you drop your samples in here one of the things that i kind of think this will be really good to do uh, to use for is to kind of create beats and clips like it can create some really fresh sounds as you'll see you know, in a little bit um this is the plugins routing series in parallel because there are two plugins as you can see um one thing that if you've already seen the audio remixer video, you know that I like to do this. But um, on the de um, in the folder where the VST host is, I have a uh, something called VSTs. You know, this 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 folder this folder has all my VSTs and all plugins. So it's gonna be picked up by the app automatically, and all them all of them show up in these drop down menus for both of them. So as soon as you kind of select one, the preset as well as all the parameters that you can control show up in these other menus and the first four are automatically picked up by these menus so let me go and select um, delay and this deceptive looking thing is actually control parameters for these and you can also kind of move these with these knobs here Oops. always mess that up but yeah the reason that blinked was because all these eight parameters, so to say, are MIDI mappable. Let me demonstrate that. I have an LPD-8 hooked up to the laptop, so if I go to MIDI I.O., MIDI in, LPD-8, and once I start, yeah, don't worry about that. But yeah, if you go one by one, As you can see, I've got all the, and that's really handy. I mean, you can really come up with cool stuff. And anything I'm leaving out? Yeah, just so before we actually go to the audio demo, this is to audio status. Let me switch that on. Sapphire, yeah, that's good. This is the preset box where basically you can like kind of, you know, shift and click will save these presets to these circles and you can pull them back up. So, like, I think I have one saved, but... Anyways, uh, and this is your volume slider. On and off for your audio. And this here is um, for recording. So, once you press that, and I'll show you, it. there's a counter that I've put. So, every time you press it, you switch it on and you switch it off. It records a clip. I wonder if it did that. Wait. Yep, you see? Two showed up. So, let me go back. Whenever you load this up, it starts from one. Let me do that again. And although nothing is playing, so it's going to be a blank clip, but you'll see a 3.aiff. So it just it starts creating these clips. I think this one's going to be blank because there's nothing playing. It's just but you know, so you you can create clips on the fly if you like something that you come up with. So let's actually give this a test. Let me pick a sample that I like. Mm, yeah, this one will work drop this in here and to start off let me bypass the plugins so you just hear the sample so there that's that's the sample without any processing on there if you go to series it's not gonna make much difference but anyways <laughs> let's bring in the plugins so you immediately hear the sound change and I'm 
kind of changing these things with the with my with the LPDA. Going back to series. So now you hear that, that, that that's a completely new sound. Uh, going back to the actual plug, this is what it sounded like. This is the actual beat. With the delay. Oh, sorry, the filter and the delay. And as you can guess, this is effectively coming straight out of the plugin. Like it really depends on what plugin you're using. If I change the delay to something else, let me first. I like this. Let me make a clip of that. Cool. Uh, <laughs> So if I if I change this to let's say the phaser, so yeah, you can really use this to create some some nice and new sounding and fresh sounding things. 